So in this video, I am going to see what are the customization available for start menu. I'm going to resize my window here so you can see um, like if something is missing on my machine here on my virtual machine I can quickly show you on my host machines uh, as well so let's go ahead and delve into it so there are let's first find out how many ways to go to the start menu customization I think one would be somewhere here taskbar settings and start this would be the easiest one to get you to the start menu uh, customization the other one would be right click on this windows button itself go to settings and probably system and let's go to home personalization probably personalization and then start so you need to know these different ways like um, it helps if you are already in there you can go there and can you customize it from here then this is again settings is the same right right clicking and go to settings so and this is the system right there this brings up the system tab not the one but everything is connected to settings and home so they are all literally uh, Microsoft uh, like merged everything together like meshed everything into one place so let's go ahead and see <coughs> the start menu customization things so this is show more tiles on start let's turn it on and see what happens nothing what would will happen here if I did that same thing there's no save button or ATC go back and back button is very good it takes you right there let's see do we we are seeing no more nope so let's see here if settings personalization start show more tiles it's on and I think I have pretty much the same tiles unless I go make it bigger no I want to keep it the same so <coughs> This will actually show more tiles essentially on your start menu right here so these are the tiles not this one these are the tiles so it will start showing up more but I think that is based on your usage that's why I tried it on my home machine because I, I um, obviously I use more apps on here in here but that did not work so the next one is show app list in start menu so if I turn it off what goes off the app menu right there this one probably all apps yep and this is all styles and this is expand so we turn it back on and see yeah, list is here third one is show recently added apps so what happens is uh, do I have recently add like I, I think I saw it shows up on the very top there is another way that it will say new on a, on it so you will know okay this is just added or installed <coughs> um, recently added right there so this scanner uh, the scanner app I added it um, I would say about two nights ago yes two or three nights ago yes so it's recently added so it's telling me that uh, it's new to this computer so it's a nice way of you knowing what was added recently 
and you see right there scan it's saying new as well show most used apps this one okay that was not based on your usage now it will show up it should show up here so I have to make changes there personalization start show most used let's where are most used like an earlier version of Windows there was a separate thing right here that will show you uh, everything that you've been using mm, most of the most used apps uh, it's not showing up for this uh, for Windows 10 but I can leave it on <clears throat> maybe I haven't you uh, haven't been using my computer as much as I thought show suggested okay, suggestion occasionally in start so what are the suggestions I think that is some like uh, I would say that would be something like uh, kind of an ad advertisement is another way of saying suggestion and the reason I think that uh, <clears throat> this um, or like I turned off the Corona is on here I turned like a Corona feature like all those uh, pr privacy features off on my host machine as I think because you uh, some of the windows feature you really must be using microsoft account for them to work but that is not a possibility with the main accounts right so that's why we can forget them as just let's uh, overview it <clears throat> you start full screen so that would be like if you remember windows 8 let's try it and <laughs> so you will see all your tiles here uh, I can try on my host machine and see what happens oh boy <laughs> it does look like uh, it gives me oh, just a tiny bit of glimpse uh, or deja vu if you would uh, of uh, Windows 8 <clears throat> so even uh, even Windows 8 I had a way of keeping my desktop and not going through this thing uh, but let's go back here settings turn it off I definitely don't want that uh, <clears throat> but this will be nice if you have a tablet uh, like a tablet tablet not that uh, um, like a small tablet I'm saying like 12 inch 10 inch uh, not the full like 15 17 inch <laughs> uh, 15 inch or 13 inch uh, uh, those laptops that uh, you know that you can flip them over and they become tablet now <clears throat> I will not do that on them show rec recently open items in jump list on start recently open items taskbar in file explorer quick access so this one is good and I, I, I want it to run here but if I show you off oh, so I don't know what's missing here but let me show you what uh, in Explorer so in Explorer there is a list of recently and let me sh can I it's not there as well quick access right there so this is the quick access so all of the files and folders and etc that you have like quick access here as well so the frequent folder that you have you open this folder right there quick access so this is the quick uh, folders that you access <clears throat> and if I turn it on see what happens so it lists all the files folders that you have open or accessed and it shows you like it rather than for example if the folder is deep inside C drive or a mm, file that you access and it's deep somewhere so what's easier clicking here on quick access or 
going to 10 clicks and go to that file right you cannot make a all files uh, shortcuts to your desktop can you <coughs> and choose which folders appear on desktop oh sorry I apologize start file explorer you want it shown on over here sure settings documents download sure music no I have no music no. pictures videos network yeah personal folder yes let's go let's go what we have so we have file explorer it's started showing up here if I turn it off file <coughs> is it gone not yet <laughs> this is embarrassing it's like it's uh, what needs to be done let's see it's still there oh it's under most used like what we used most uh, but is it it's not here F in the uh, F anymore so let's go to settings start <coughs> turn file explorer on and see nope is it talking about these folders probably yes so downloads is there pictures network personal folder this is the file explorer settings so it was talking about this one these are the folders <coughs> that we wanted to show there or not I think the other settings took effect as well like uh, most used uh, I apps if I click uh, and then go back most used is gone from the top so that's how it works so let's go back here there is an option like uh, I think it's a search thing opening the start menu making the start menu bigger these are the help op option like if you have a question you can talk about it so how do you make it bigger I think I did show you you just scroll uh, like uh, you just hover mouse here when it turns to two point two pointer two half uh, facing two sides pointer you just drag it like click the left uh, mouse button and drag it all right so but uh, for you I can show you fixing problem with the start menu so it takes you to a Bing search I don't want to do that so this is it about this customizing start menu if this video has helped you please read comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one